Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe, and this quick tutorial is all about working with the new generative AI technology called Adobe Firefly that is now natively integrated into Adobe Photoshop. This generative fill feature is now in the public beta version of Photoshop. You can install it from the Creative Cloud on your desktop and give it a try. The images you just saw on your screen were all created with the new Adobe Photoshop Generative Fill feature. In this project, I want to demonstrate how I created each of those images and how I can get rid of wrinkles and enhance fabric here inside of the beta version of Photoshop. Let's get going. The first step in this project is to make a selection of your fabric. I've done this ahead of time, as you can see here. The selection goes all the way to the edge but I am recommending that you go to the Select menu and down to Modify and over to Contract. I'm going to contract by 10 pixels. By doing so, I am protecting the outer edge of the selection, so it will not affect that area. And it will then maintain the shape of my fabric. This is a nice super user tip and technique. Now that I have the selected region where I'd like to repair the wrinkles, I can go up to Generative Fill here in the taskbar. I'm going to enter in Burgundy Spiral Fabric. I like to put in the color that I'm after, the spiral because I want to spiral the fabric, and I'm finishing off with the word fabric because I don't want it to drift to some other material. These three words work extremely well for me in this project. Now that I have that selected, I can select Generate. It's going to generate a series of variations based upon that prompt. Here are the results, right here under Variations. The first one, the second one, and the third variation. I highly recommend that you select Generate multiple times because the variety of different images you will get is enormous and you can get some really, really amazing results. There you have it, some super user tips and techniques on removing wrinkles and adding special features to fabric that you've photographed. Give this technique a try. 